Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? These immortal words from a certain adventurer prove that everyone has a fear of something, and for many, it's snakes. Honestly though, it's not hard to see why, because snakes can be big and long and they bite, and many of them have poison that at best can hurt you, and at worst can kill you. Some you definitely don't want to mess with because they're huge. From green anacondas to reticulated pythons, here are 20 biggest snakes in the world. Number 20. Green Anaconda now I want to be clear about this first set of two because it may get a little bit confusing. You see, the first two snake species are without a doubt the biggest in the world. The catch here though is that which one is bigger depends on your particular definition of the world. For example, I'll start off my list with the legendary green anaconda, who holds the record for being the largest snake in the world because of its literal girth. And yes, I'm talking about a snake that has a lot of pounds on it. It isn't the longest end to end though. But don't make any fat jokes because its poundage is part of what makes it so terrifying. You see, it's twice as heavy as the next snake on my list and its length is nothing to scoff at as well. If it can get almost 30 feet long and can weigh about 550 pounds, then just think about looking at that in nature and not shaking in your boots or having an emergency evacuation. Another thing that might trip you up is that it's not the male snakes that get that large, it's the females. So it's a case of nice big lady snakes, and that makes it all the more horrifying. Just think of the eggs they lay. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. This one I'm going to talk about a picture of a green anaconda that was supposedly taken in Brazil. I've already talked about how big that they can be in general, but let's have a look at one very big boy in particular. As you can see, it's rather dead, and it's large enough to be housed upon a massive truck without a whole lot of issue. So is it fake or is it real? It's likely very fake, and for a very basic reason, green anacondas in diameter only get to about one foot in width, whereas this picture shows one that's many times that and is able to lord over the truck that it's on. If it was real, it'd be not just a world record, but a troubling news story because that would mean that there are more out there like it. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Reticulated Python The green anaconda is a big snake, but not the longest. That would be the reticulated python. If you were to go and define the biggest snake in the world by its length end to end, then this species would be the one you'd be talking about, because it's the snake that holds the record as being longest snake in the world. While the numbers absolutely vary from snake to snake, there have been reticulated pythons capable of reaching 33 feet in length. That's over five times the size of an above average human, meaning that this snake has length to spare. Just as important, while they're not as bulky as the green anaconda, they still have about 300 pounds of weight on them, and that makes them very dangerous. She's a big girl, guys, look at this. But how dangerous, you may ask? Well, the reticulated python has a lot of stories that are attached to it that are sure to freak you out. Not the least of which is that in Indonesia, in the same town no less, two people were swallowed whole by a reticulated python. No joke and no lie. These are snakes that are not exactly afraid to eat humans, should the opportunity arise, and there are several ironies when it comes to the snake as well. Not the least of which is that it's a snake that's known to be very aggressive, yet when it's in zoos, they can be rather fine with people. Also, the snake, due to its length, is hunted for its skin, and yet the population numbers still remain fine. Number 18. Amethystin Python 
Heading back to the world of real snakes, I have a look at a species known as the amethystine, which is not one that you'd likely know about, however you should, because it's a big snake and could very easily be said to be the third longest around. Because at its maximum, this snake is said to be able to reach 27 and a half feet in length, so that makes for a very big snake. The catch though is that unlike previous snakes on this list, it doesn't have the girth to make it a truly apex snake. They're known for being rather slender creatures, and as a result of that can only eat certain things. The python and the anaconda from before could very easily eat big game, which included humans, but for this python, the same cannot be said. Now if you're wondering why the snake is called that, it's because of its scales. They have a blue and purple way about them, allowing them to shimmer in the light like an amethyst gem so the name fits. However, if you're curious about why you've never seen one of these before, that's because it primarily lives in Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Australia, and the Philippines. Still though, even with its supposed faults, you absolutely should respect the snake, even if for no other reason than it's much bigger than you are. Number 17, Burmese Pythons. Now, if you notice, I'm talking about a lot of pythons. You're going to have to get used to that because pythons as a whole are known to be rather large, and another great example of this is the Burmese python. But the catch here, despite its size, is that it's known to be rather docile, even when it's massive in their lives. So much so that there are people who are more than happy to make the Burmese python their pet, and thus adding another example under the how are humans still alive list. Especially since while people think it's a good idea to have a Burmese python as a pet, it really actually isn't. Not the least of which is because they can be hard to care for, and if you don't care for them properly, they may lash out at you. Meant to be found in southeastern Asia, the Burmese python can get up to 23 feet in length and weigh, at times, about 200 pounds. So slightly bigger than the pets that you're supposed to have that aren't farm animals. A curious fact about this one is that their size honestly dictates the habitat. When they're young and don't have all that body weight, they tend to live in trees. But then when their girth sets in, they have to go and live on the land. Oh, and they can actually stay in the water for up to 30 minutes, showing you that they do, in fact, have great range. Number 16, Titanoboa. For much of my list, I'm going to dive into the modern world because there are plenty of snakes on Earth right now that will send shivers up your spine. However, if you wanted to go back and look at snakes of the ancient times, there are some that'll make you glad that they never lived and that you never lived back then. The first of which is the legendary Titanoboa. This was a snake that would be discovered quite by accident during an archaeological dig, and then as more bones and pieces of the snake was found, it was quickly realized that it wasn't just a snake, it was actually a behemoth. Now I'm talking about a snake that was apparently 48 feet long and could weigh in upwards of 2,500 pounds. That's five times the weight of the green anaconda. And if you're wondering, how do they know all of this? It's because of the remains that were found. It was enough for them to detail it in various ways, which included its dimensions. This was an apex predator of the ancient world during the time that it lived in, and many believe that it came about around 60 to even 58 million years ago. It's said that this even survived a certain extinction level event that was said to have wiped out most of the life on Earth at the time. Thankfully, it's not around now, but could you imagine what it would be like if it was? Number 15, the Black Mamba. Focusing on this snake, it's not only quite large, but it's one that you'll never want to screw with because of what it can do to you. And I'm not joking because you really don't want to mess with this snake. This snake is found in Africa, and its legend there exceeds some of the other major predators of the land in ways because not only is the snake able to get 14 feet long at times, it's also incredibly venomous. Some even go as far as to call it one of, if not the, deadliest snake in the world. Number 16. 
In terms of personality, they're a bit of an oxymoron, which is very different from straight up morons in your life, because most times it's a shy snake, which can be odd. Except that the black mamba doesn't like to be cornered or even approached at times, and when it feels even the slightest bit of threatening, it will rear up and strike at you with a quickness that truly can't be described. As for its venom, it's full on deadly. It'll be a slow death. You're said to have about 30 minutes before it completely takes you, and it'll be painful as it goes. Not the least of which is because you'll lose your eyesight slowly, among many other failures. Number 14. The African Rock Python While not the biggest snake on the continent, the African Rock Python is without a doubt the longest snake there. Because while the Black Mamba can get to 14 feet, the African Rock Python can get up to 25 feet in length. That's a big snake! And not unlike the mamba, the African rock python has a very curious personality. It tends to live a very solitary life, very different from the snakes that love to live in pits like vipers, and it's also not afraid to go on land, in the water, or even up a tree to make its living. It's very capable of doing all three of those things, showing that it knows how to use its body rather well. In addition to its size, it's willing to go and attack animals that are also large in size, like monkeys, fruit bats, monitor lizards, crocodiles, chickens, dogs, and goats. If you're wondering if the African rock python is as deadly as the black mamba, they're not, actually. Not in the venomous sense, anyways. I say that because African rock pythons aren't venomous at all. But don't mistake that for weakness, because these pythons will still bite you and they'll use their frame to constrict you to death. Number 13. Boa Constrictor And now for one of the most known and popular big snakes out there in the world, we have the Boa Constrictor. A snake that's so popular it's used for shows, and yes, people have tried them out as pets as well. Especially since it's been proven that these snakes will go and attack people, you gotta wonder why it's not that frequent. In a fun twist, humans are willing to use them as both deterrents and as terminators in terms of rats. And if you're confused, well, the boa constrictor is more than willing to eat a rat. So thus, in South America, if a home is said to have a rat infestation, humans will bring in a boa constrictor and let nature take its course. Is that disgusting? Disgusting? Well, possibly. But you have to work with what you've got, right? And apparently, a lot of people have access to boa constrictors, so I'm not going to make any judgments. One of the things that people honestly like about this snake is that they can come in various colors based upon their environments and the habitats in which they live. So they honestly do come in a myriad of looks as they try to blend in. To scan its surroundings, the boa constrictor uses both its tongue and its particularly strong eyes to get things done. A very capable snake, as you can see. Number 12. Indian Python India, believe it or not, is honestly a very popular place for snakes, more than likely because of the terrain that's there. The problem, though, is that many of them aren't exactly the friendliest snake around. A great example of this is the Indian python, which is a snake that can get over 20 feet long at times, though 12 to 15 feet is said to be more of an average for these snakes. They have a rather clever way of getting their food as well, because they prefer to be ambush predators, and thus what they'll do is drape themselves over branches. She's wrapping on me as well. Look how she protects her face. Let's, I, I don't really... And then just wait for the food to come to them. The animal's not going to look up to see the python until it's too late, and then you know the rest. Further showing its intelligence, the Indian python is one that knows how to use the environment to its advantage, so much so that it will live in areas that provide easy cover or easy escape routes, including being near water quite often. It's not the deadliest snake in India, but it's one that you'll definitely want to be on the lookout for, if for no other reason than its size. Number 11. King Cobra 
So far, I've shown you a lot of snakes that you should be aware of because of their potential killing power. However, when it comes to the infamous King Cobra, it's a snake that's absolutely one that you know to be fearful of, and for all of the right reasons or in this case, the wrong ones. First and foremost, this is a large snake, which should be obvious because it's on this list. An average one can get up to 12 feet in length, but then at its maximum, it's able to reach 18 feet in length, which is bad for you because they're willing to use that length to literally stare you down and then fill you full of venom. As you likely already knew, the King Cobra is one of the most venomous snakes in the world, and with a twist or two, you see. Because its venom isn't the deadliest around, but what it lacks in potency, it makes up for in being able to deliver a whole bunch of it at once. It's said that a single bite from the King Cobra is enough to kill 20 people, from one bite no less. Or it could actually kill one big elephant. Either way, it freaks me out. Number 10. Mulga Snake The Mulga Snake is also known as the King Brown Snake, and it's another serpent that you've likely heard about for one reason or another. They're snakes that are on average reach about 10 feet in length, which obviously isn't the greatest length of snake that you've seen, but the catch here is that the Mulga is one that's rather robust. They're known for having a big head and a body that's big enough to do what it needs to do in order to survive, which is absolutely what snakes love to do. Not surprisingly, one of the things that makes the Mulga special is that it's indeed a venomous snake, albeit one that doesn't have the most potent of venoms, but like the King Cobra before it, what it lacks in true potency, it makes up for in being able to deliver. So much so that it's known for having the ability to paralyze prey, create blood clots, and more. Oh, and it really hurts to have in you, obviously. Number nine, the 33-foot anaconda. For the most part, the snake species of the world have their length determined by the averages of their species or by the individuals that have been full-on measured by scientists, which makes it so that certain species can surprise you when they turn up in massive sizes beyond what people think they're capable of, such as with a certain anaconda that would be found in Brazil. But wasn't that the plot of a movie once? Something about a giant anaconda who was killing people? What was that movie called? called anyway. In Brazil, a 33-foot anaconda would be found, but it wasn't found in the typical way you would expect. Apparently, there was some work being done in a cave, and an explosion needed to happen. And when they went inside after it was finished, they found the massive snake. Talk about an explosive entrance. Just as important, though, was the body of the anaconda was reportedly over three feet in diameter. There's a lot of controversy with this discovery, not the least of which was the supposed need to kill it, but at the very least, it just goes to show how big certain individual snakes can get. Number 8. Bushmaster the bite of the Bushmaster snake is not one to be trifled with because it has one of the most deadly bites in the entire world. So much so that it's said that it has a super high mortality rate, even if you are able to get treated in time. Just think about that. A snake so deadly that even if you do get treatment, you're still likely to die. That's terrifying. It also doesn't help that, like other species I've discussed, the Bushmaster has a quick attack speed, along with large quantities of venom within, that'll help ensure its foes end up dead quite quickly. And if you want to hear something even more frightening than all of that, well, the Bushmaster is the kind of snake that likes to hunt at night and uses its special heat sensors in its head to detect prey. So finding it before it strikes you is going to be difficult, even with it being 12 feet long on average. Number 6. Snake Trap 
Traps are something that we use to catch all kinds of animals. Mice, rats, raccoons, and even snakes. But usually the snake traps that we set out are for small snakes. You know, the ones that you can easily release back into the wild, but you don't want them in your house at the same time. Enter this video where we see a rather large anaconda coming out of the water to find itself into a trap one that it tries very hard to get out of for reasons that are understandable. However, there are a few twists in this tale. The first is why the trap was there at all, because apparently a local had noticed a bunch of its poultry was being taken, so they figured a snake was involved and was apparently right. But here's the catch. The video, well, it's altered. Not in the snake was never there way, but rather it was changed to make the anaconda seem a lot bigger than it actually was. Number five, Python in the field. One of the reasons that people are so afraid of snakes at times is that they can literally come out of anywhere or potentially be anywhere and you wouldn't realize it. That's why a lot of snake bite attacks come from people not being aggressive to snakes, but merely not knowing that they were there before stepping in the wrong place. Now imagine that you work in a sugarcane field, and as you're going through it one day, you find yourself looking at a 16 foot long python. Now, I'd probably never go into that field again. However, there are a few things that you need to know. First of all, the snake was found in a borehole and apparently had just gotten rid of a dog that was sent in to hunt it down. Second, after the people found the snake, their first instinct was to take selfies with it. That's right, people are that dumb. But yeah, after calling in officials, the python was finally rescued. Number four, Python attack. Now I'm sure that many of you wanted to come here to not just hear about snakes and their sizes, but also their deadly potential. Well, continuing on with the trend of talking about big pythons, and I'm not just referring to my arm muscles, I'll talk about a Florida man, but not that Florida man, who found himself in the literal clutches of an 18-foot python that he was trying to catch. You see, in Florida, pythons are an invasive species, and so the government allows people to hunt them in order to get rid of them, though it's not helping. And for two men, they not only got an 18-foot python, but they were able to actually skin it for profit. That is, not before trying to bring it onto the dirt road nearby, and when they did that, it decided to fight back by wrapping itself around one of them. Obviously, the man would get free, but not before having a story that further cements the record-breaking snake that they had caught and almost died from. Number 3. Amazon Anaconda now, you likely know the phrase, finding something in its natural habitat, meaning that you find it in a position or a place where it's truly one with nature and thus shouldn't be disturbed. Well, for some people in Peru, on their side of the Amazon rainforest, which spans across many countries, and I hope you knew that, they found a massive 16-foot anaconda doing just that being one with nature. Well, people of the small village were going to the river Momen, and just off the water's edge was that of an anaconda, which was actually napping. Apparently, the anaconda in question was just done eating an animal and decided to take a nap, an impulse that we can all totally understand and recognize as being logical. Naturally, the people picked up the snake and took pictures with it, mainly because they'd never seen an anaconda that big before. Number 2. Eastern Indigo Snake Coming in at just under 10 feet long, the Eastern Indigo Snake is large but non-venomous and lives in Georgia the state, not the country. In fact, it's the longest snake species that's native to the United States, which is honestly quite a bit shocking, but one could argue that the habitats of the United States aren't exactly as lush as those of the places like the Amazon rainforest, Africa, and so on. Still a little bit grumpy. No, 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 chill out, chill out. 
And while it may not have a particular habitat that makes it grow insane sizes, it is known to be able to live in a whole bunch of places. This includes flatwoods, hammocks, dry glades, stream bottoms, cane fields, thickets, and high ground with well-drained sandy soils. So it's not exactly particular about one spot or another, it just likes to live wherever it can. But what is wrong with this snake though is that it's affected by its co-inhabitants, being humans, mainly in that people have destroyed many of its habitats, and thus it's a threatened species in terms of its population numbers. Number 1. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake Ending with the United States, I'll have a look at the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. One that you can already guess is pretty dangerous, but also huge as well. So much so that it's America's largest and heaviest venomous snake. A very important distinction to make because that means this snake can and will kill you if it's given half the chance. Despite it being just 8 feet in length, it's a snake that has plenty of venom to take down a human, and it'll let you know that it's around with its infamous rattle. Specifically, the venom that's within will go after your blood cells and tissue and kill them or make them decay, which obviously would suck in all the ways that matter. If you're looking for some good news though, there is some. Mainly in that because of its well-known nature of the snake and its venom, there is an antidote readily available. So as long as you get to the hospital in time, you'll probably be fine. What did you think of this look at the biggest snakes in the world today? Are you amazed at how big these snakes can get and the abilities that they have? Which one of them would honestly terrify you at your core? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.